So that, now that we have mirrored the image, we're going to add some laces. We're going to add our names to the back, and we're going to add a hole for our foot to go. First thing, we're going to erase or get rid of this plane in the middle. So what I want you to do is bring your mouse over to the left side of the screen. Find where it says Work Plane 1. Right click and go down to where it says Visibility and click the check mark. And it will take away the plane. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a hole for our foot to go into. This is going to be more decorative because it's not going to hollow out our entire shoe, but we're going to add a hole at the top. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to go to Start 2D Sketch, bring your mouse over to this part of our shoe, and click. Now it's going to allow us to draw on just the top part of our shoe. What I want us to do is get the rectangle button and this can be up to your whatever you feel like but I'm gonna start my rectangle here and just drag it to be as big as um, about this where there's already some lines. So now you can see that the, the shoe hole is going to take up this space. Before we move forward, I'm going to teach you a new tool in the sketching um, tab and that's going to be to add fillets before we create the hole. So after we add our rectangle, I want you to come up here to the top where it says fillet. Click that. Bring your mouse down and we're going to add fillets um, and we're going to round out this, this rectangle a little bit. So I want you to click on the left line and click on the right line and you can see that it has now added a curve. We're going to do that to the rest of our shape here. So click on the two lines between the points so it adds curves or fillets to the sketch. So you can add fillets in a sketch mode and you can also do it once the project is in 3D. Let's finish the sketch and we are going to extrude this rectangle we just made. It will automatically pop it out. We don't want it to come out, so we're going to come over here. We're going to make a quick change. We're going to make it go in. And we're going to leave it at one inch. Press OK. And now it gives us the illusion that our shoe has a hole for us to put our foot in. Now we're going to turn around our shoe so we can see the back. So if you haven't done this yet, you want to come over here and get the orbit button, click it, bring your mouse over, and you want to turn your shoe so you can see the back of the shoe, any part of the back of the shoe. Once you do that, right click to get out of the orbit tool. Go over to Start 2D Sketch. Click on the back and it's going to now allow us to draw on the back. Since we've made a design on the sides, we're going to add our name on the back with text. So I want you to come up to the top and click the text button. Bring your mouse over to the shoe and click. 
in this window, you can type your first and last, just your first, just your last, or your initials. I'm going to type my last name. This is up to you. If you have a really, really long last name, my suggestion is to just type your first or to do your initials, um, but whatever your preference is. Once you do that, you can highlight the name and you can look through and change the font. If the font is too thin, it will not it will not um, extrude out. So keep that in mind. Once you find a font, just press OK and it's going to place your words on the shoe. Now mine is not placed in the spot where I want it, so what I want you to do is right click to get out of the text tool, press OK, and now you can bring your mouse over top and once it's highlighted white, you can click it and drag it to where you want it to be. I'm going to place mine down here, but you are free to place yours wherever you'd like. After you have yours placed, finish the sketch. Now, this is going to be something slightly different than we're used to. We're not going to hit the extrude button. We're actually going to hit the emboss button. So what I want you to do with the top now up here is find the thing that says emboss. Click that. What you need to do when you use the emboss button, you have to tell it what you want to emboss. So you're going to bring your mouse over. You're going to click your words so they're highlighted white. You're going to click them. So now they're going to turn blue, and you can decide if you want the words to be popped out or to be engraved in. I'm actually going to engrave mine and then just press OK. After a couple of seconds, you can see, if I use the orbit tool and turn, you can see that my name is now engraved in the back of my shoe. So you want your name to be engraved or popped out um, of your shoe. Okay, we're almost done with our shoe. We have a couple more things to do here. Right click to get out of the orbit tool. This time I'm going to add just a little bit of laces. So I'm going to go to the Start 2D Sketch button come over to the front of my shoe. Now as you can see I can only draw here and I can only draw here. So what I'm going to do is just make a small little thing of laces on this on this face. That means that your, I'm going to use the line tool, but your laces and your lines cannot leave this little section here or else they won't show up. So I'm going to take the line tool and I'm just going to do a simple X. Now remember, you can't you can't um, extrude you can't extrude lines. So you have to make your lines into rectangles. As I'm trying to do here. So I'm going to add this little X. You can make yours look any way you would like. But I have this simple X here to make my laces. I'm going to take the trim button over here and if you have any lines that are overlapped if you just click them you're just going to trim and cut those lines. Finish the sketch and now you can see that I have an X there. I'm going to hit the extrude button. I'm going to come over to my X 
and I'm going to notice that I actually can't extrude this. So this is a good learning opportunity. If you find something that you can't extrude, that means there's something in this sketch that is not connected together. So you have to come back over to the left side, and we have to go back into that sketch. You're going to have to right click and click Edit Sketch. We'll have to use our line tool. I think this maybe is not connected to make sure everything is connected together. So down here at the bottom, this was not connected together. I fixed that, finished the sketch. Now we're going to click Extrude. Now I'm going to click inside my X. And I only want it to pop out a very small amount, even smaller than 0.1. Uh, maybe 0 0.03, and then I'm going to press OK. So at this point, my shoe is complete. Let's go to the next tutorial to show you how to add color.